This is a this is a quick demonstration of our capstan uh, winder uh, pulling fiber from a simple payoff unit here on this table. The belt cap stand is going to pull the fiber from the payoff. As you can see it's a we can open up the cap stand, put the fiber in, and close it back up again, and it winds up onto a new spool uh, via our uh, OTT based uh, take up system which has a traversing head on it and uh, I'll run quickly here through some of the controls. Uh, note that this machine is not finished. There aren't uh, button labels on there yet or, or other markings and warning labels and so forth. But uh, we've got on here uh, obviously our touchscreen interface which we'll go through. <clears throat> this knob here is a speed adjust for the take up section only and you just set that to be faster than you're ever going to need and then the take up will uh, pull the wire at the desired tension and synchronize automatically with the rate coming from the cap stand limited by that speed set by that knob and then also here are your tension settings where the number shown on the display is the amount of current going uh, to the internal clutch of the take up section you can adjust that that current here to pull very gently on the material being wound and uh, obviously you have your power switch in your e-stop. This light here is a flashing indicator where we can set a desired length on the through the touch screen and the way this machine is set up uh, it won't stop when the length is reached that light will just begin flashing to alert an operator to come over and uh, manage the spool somehow. Uh, it's no problem to also set the machine up to just automatically stop when a target length is reached, or both, stop and flash the light if needed. So here I'll go through the screens real quick. Here's the, uh, the main uh, splash screen. We call this the pool and spool and you can see you can have your settings, jog, uh, jog screen and, and main wind screen you can go to. I'll go to the setting screen and here we can set the uh, the wind parameters, the basic parameters where you set your speed you want to wind at and uh, this particular machine is set up to wind um, speeds down to about one foot per minute up to about uh, 100 feet per minute. Uh, you can set in here any length you want. Here, I'll, you press the field. A keypad comes up. Maybe I'll set uh, 50 feet. So that's our new uh, length target. We'll go back here. Uh, the feed screen is a password uh, lock screen, which. Uh, you go into that to uh, adjust the settings for the cap stand, which you wouldn't want to do all the time, which is why that's uh, password protected. I'm going to not go into that. We have our jog speeds. We're really we're only uh, jogging the uh, the cap stand, and you can set a speed in there just again by pressing the field, entering your your value in the keypad, and coming back out. Uh, you can display either metric units or English units. Right now it's set for metric. Or I'm sorry, it's set for uh, English units. We'll, we'll keep it there for now. And we can lock out this operator screen on the next, with the next button or actually, actually save all of your settings um, with the save button. And therefore when you power back up again, everything you entered will be uh, saved in there. So come back to the main screen. Uh, jogging is, as I said, just jogging your feed. You can also turn your take up motor off and on through there. I won't do that right now. But here, let's go to our wind screen. So right now we're set for a, a target speed of 10 feet per minute. 
and by the way I can change these settings right on this screen here I'll go slow at first I'll go two feet per minute let's go actually a little faster at first let's go five we're set for 50 feet I'll leave that there right now we have a value in there this is our actual column where it shows uh, what we've already wound I'll reset that value to zero. It asked me to confirm if I want to really do that, so I'll say yes. So now we're zero. And when I'm ready, I just hit wind. It again prompts me if I want to reset my counter to zero. Uh, we already did, so I'll say no. And it will just begin winding. So there's our take up going just automatically synchronizing with the rate from the cap stand you know being pulled from the the payoff unit so you can see it's very slow at the moment uh, for demo's sake I'll speed it up let's go uh, 20 feet per minute So now we're going a lot faster. You can see it accumulating on the actual foot counter. Let's go even faster. All right, and so this, uh, take up section will only pull the, the material as uh, hard as you want. Uh, I don't want to, if I uh, put some resistance on this spool, it will stop it. I don't want to do that right now because it will uh, mess up my winding a little bit coming from the cap stand. But you can see our result. You get a pretty nice even wind from it. I can adjust the wind spacing here, we have a, a pitch dial right there on, on the actuator. And if I need to adjust to uh, match my flange widths, I do that here on the front of the actuator. So you can see, I can come into focus here. So we reached our target length of, of 50 feet. We're up to 71 feet now. The machine hasn't stopped because it's not designed to do that, but our indicator is flashing to let an operator know to come over and, and take care of things. So I'll just stop now. It, when I hit stop, it prompts me if I really want to stop. I'll say yes. So there you go.